Uh, today I'm going to talk about autoimmunity and as you know that autoimmunity means responsiveness to self or it means failure of immune tolerance. Immune tolerance it means unresponsiveness to self. So the predisposing factor to auto or autoimmunity there, there are so many factors. Genes may predispose to autoimmunity. For example, failure of apoptosis of self reactive T and B cells. The responsible gene is FASAN, fast ligand, and uh, it will lead to autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndrome. Also, infection may, pre, may play a role in mediating auto immunity and as you know that in case of uh, rheumatic fever or rheumatic heart disease uh, if someone get infected by streptococcal or streptococci biogenes this will lead to inflammation of the tonsil tonsils and the body will mount antibodies against streptococci but however due to similarity between antigen on the wall of these streptococci and antigen on the wall of the heart so these antibodies will react with the streptococci and kill them but however it will react with the heart due to presence of similar sequences. This is known as molecular uh, mimicry and it will lead to hypersensitive reaction type 2 or rheumatic heart fever. Also immune regulation as we discussed it before you can go back to the lecture of the complement classical pathway of the complement so deficiency of complement uh, regulatory proteins may lead to uh, systemic lupus erythematosus so now uh, we are going to classify or the classification of the autoimmunity autoimmunity may be systemic means involve more than one organ or it may be organ specific for example for the systemic uh, SLE for the systemic autoimmunity systemic lupus erythematosus and uh, as you know that uh, also failure of apoptosis may predispose to SLE and as you know that SLE is hypersensitive reaction type 3 and it is due to presence or due to deposition of immune complexes in uh, various parts of the body. For example, if the immune complex, immune complex means uh, antibody plus antigen, if it is uh, deposited in the heart, it will lead to carditis. If deposited in the lung, it will lead to pleurisy and in the kidney it will lead to glomerulonephritis if the deposition was in the brain it will lead to depression and also uh, rheumatoid arthritis it is an autoimmune disorder it is due to uh, synovitis inflammation of the synovial uh, membrane and it is associated maybe with destruction 
uh, or damage of the cartilage. Uh, another example for systemic autoimmune disorder is scleroderma, and this is associated with dry skin. Now let us come to uh, organ specific autoimmunity. Organ specific means autoimmunity involve one or single organ. For example, uh, diabetes mellitus type 1. In diabetes mellitus type 1, cells infiltrate pancreas and this followed by uh, release or expression of some cytokines that may lead to uh, inflammation of eyeless cell of Langerhans. So this, uh, we call it inflammation of iris cell of Langerhans. We call it insu insulitis because they uh, produce uh, insulin. Graves uh, disease, this is hyperthyroidism, also due to uh, immune attack to the thyroid uh, gland. Myasthenia. Gravis is a uh, localized or organ-specific uh, autoimmunity. It affects uh, muscles. And as you know that in Mycena Gravis, if uh, this is uh, uh, nerve ending, and here we have the muscle, and we have receptors for acetyl, uh, we call it acetylcholine uh, receptors. So at its side, acetylcholine it comes from here to sit on the receptor. However, some individuals may produce antibodies uh, that recognize the receptors and occupy the receptors and, uh, in, and oppose or compete with the acetylcholine for the receptors. And this may lead to uh, temporal paralysis. Also, an example for organ-specific autoimmunity is pernicious anemia. This anemia is due to vitamin B12. And as you know that uh, vitamin for vitamin B12 to be absorbed, a protein known as intrinsic factor is needed. For, but however, in some instances, some individual uh, may or some individuals may mount antibodies against the intrinsic factor, and these antibodies interfere with the absorption of vitamin B12, and this will lead to vitamin B12 uh, deficiency. Uh, another example of uh, organ specific uh, autoimmunity is vitiligo or somebody or someone they call it vitiligo but I think it is uh, vitiligo and uh, this uh, in this vitiligo the melanocytes attacked by some uh, antibodies or some immune responses lead to loss of color or fading of the color of the skin Multiple sclerosis. In multiple sclerosis, uh, we call it MS. Here, 